Hey gang, we're at 1355 Skyline Drive. We've got North a great- North Skyline Drive. North Skyline Drive. We have got a great little two bedroom, one bath for you with this awesome two car garage right in front. So we are actually right by the airport, but look, 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 what, what do you hear? Nothing, that's right. Because we've got some nice peace and serenity here, thanks to Idaho Falls being just so wonderful. So where do we wanna go? Let's go on in, let's. Let's, let's. So I love this idea of this house. A lot of people want to downsize or they want a second home <clears throat> that they can come and visit their kids. Maybe if they're spending their, their some winters somewhere else, this is a great option because one floor living. One maintained. floor living. I echoed the heck out of that. So quick little garage. This is a great space, really neat and maintained. It is in fact insulated, at least on these outside walls. This is fantastic. Huge space, brand new garage door opener, which always a good thing because I tend to break them. So. I really like this is this, the garage at the front hides the, not hides or just kind of gives a buffer between the house and the road. So it has that nice buffer and you get this fantastic secluded courtyard here. I can't express how awesome this is, but this one's got its, Awesome, nice little planters, and the trellis is there. I, I am terrible at plants. What did she say those are? She said they were clar clarendus, climber mattis. I don't know. Nope, I don't remember. Well, they, they climb up the climb trellises. They climb up the trellises, which is awesome. There's a strawberry patch in Climatis? there. So look, Climatis? free strawberries next year. It'll be great. But and look, a rose bush. And the rose bush here, trimmed down wonderfully for you. So this is a great little place. HOA will trim all this. Yes, we have an HOA, $80 a month. It's really great. They take care of the fencing, could take care of the siding, take care of all the lawning, which is awesome. And snow removal. And snow removal. Cause Again, another thing, if you want someone to kind of maintain the outside, this yep. is an awesome opportunity. Because as, as we all know, you know, snow removal, because, well, winter hasn't ended yet. Yeah. I really liked also the little, they actually had the little dog door to the garage, because if you wanted to, let, if you had a little dog that came out, and it was winter, they could go in. You don't have to leave the door of the house open. That's excellent. Because it's an insulated garage. That's right. I really like that. And she did say that that door, mm -hmm. um, they do have a, a replacement door if you didn't want the doggy door that well, could go there. That's very helpful because, you know, not everybody does have a dog. That's I love right. dogs. We're all dog friendly. Let's go inside. I immediately like the glass storm door and the door with the internal blinds. So internal blinds are the most fascinating thing for me because I feel like, what am I gonna do in there? Am I a machine? Can I work that? I don't know, what am I got going on? But then again, I'm just weird. But baseboard heating throughout, which is one of my favorite things in the world. I know, I know what you're thinking, baseboard heating, but individually controlled throughout each room, plus all the sun you've got coming in here. East facing windows, East facing beautiful window. You're just gonna warm up this room. You're not even gonna need these heaters any time of year. I mean, it's 40 degrees outside and it's so comfortable in here and none of the heat's on. It's brilliantly wonderful. And I love this, the height of the ceilings. We've got a nice heighted ceiling, but it vaults over there, which vaulted ceilings are so cool. I love them. Coat closet, because coats. Mm. So great little dining room, leads right into the kitchen. It's got a good window here, more baseboard heating. It's a lot of fun. Um, everybody should know that I love this uh, chandelier because I love chandeliers. So good windows throughout, which you're getting a lot of light straight in through here. Cute little kitchen, all appliances included. We got a nice garbage disposal in there and the dishwasher. So we're all set and ready to go. This is a good amount of counter space for a little, little kitchen like this. So you've definitely got enough prep space here. You know, what I really like is if you ended up, you want to do any remodeling, I think you have enough room in this dining room, even to bring your, another kitchen counter out if you wanted to. I really think you could. You could take this out the entire wall yeah, there and put a whole really lot more have a lot of room. on that. Mm -hmm. That'd actually be awesome. It's a pretty big space. It's versatile. It's got a lot going for it. That's, uh, you can really just blow that wide open. This is a great big space. I really love it. Great for entertaining. No one's going to get too lost in the kitchen. You know, it's me. I'm always <laughs> the one stuck in the kitchen uh, doing the dishes while everyone else is out having fun. That doesn't look like it's going to be much of a problem in here. Great wide open space. I see this as someone either who might, uh, anything from a single person to a, a couple, you know, that, or even as if a parent was getting 
less and they didn't need as much space to take care mm -hmm. of, but they still wanted to live on their own. What a great opportunity this yeah, is. Yeah, this thing is going to get you from starter home to empty nest home. Yeah. I don't know what to call that. Empty nest home works yeah. for me. Yeah. Cadet heating. Yeah. You got that running. Which also means that cadet heating, if they wanted to keep it warm in each room, you know, in really room. good. Yep. Okay, my favorite feature, just so everyone knows, because I'm a great big dork. Let's go. We've got a laundry room. Well, that's not my favorite feature, I tell you. We've got a built-in bar for drying your clothes, but wait for it. A fan to assist drying your clothes. Okay, yes, this may not seem like the biggest thing in the whole wide world to most people, but I line dry almost all my clothes. So if you're anything like me, and you should be because, you know, Tommy's making fun of me, yeah, you're gonna wanna line dry your clothes. I just thought that was so super cool, and that's it, I'm done. That's my favorite thing, that's all we need. It's all, that's it, that's the whole thing. Anyway. <laughs> and I love that you've got the lot, by the way, wash and dryer included, main <laughs> floor laundry, <laughs> again, just super convenient. One level living is just so important mm -hmm. at certain times. Honestly, I'd love it if I were single, I'd love it if I had kids, I'd love it if the kids left. When, when the kids leave. <laughs> so, it's one bath. That's a great space, that is a huge bathroom. I know what you're thinking. It is, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is. You and if you it. needed to, I had someone say it, it's pretty easy because it's a surround. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to tear that out to make it a no entry shower, yeah, it's yeah, very easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that would actually be very easy. Mm -hmm. Nice bathroom. You've got nice vanity space there. Good size. Brilliant mirrors. Good tub. I like it. That's so good. the owner made a really good, interesting point. She says, I keep the, I don't turn the, the, the heater on in the living room because the sun warms the middle, like, yeah. main living room. She says, I keep my bedroom cooler, so I keep the heat off in my bedroom, but I keep it warm in the bathroom. So whenever that happens, uh, when well, you want to get up, it's nice and toasty. Bathroom's always toasty warm, and I love it. That's what bathrooms are for, to be toasty warm. That's why I, you know, take extremely hot showers. We call this the master bedroom. Huge space. There's room for a king in here, most definitely. I think we're set up for a full. Great west facing windows, but you've got that. I really like, it's got the slope in the backyard. And so that really gives a lot of privacy. Not just privacy, but when it snows, you know what you've got? Instant downhill sledding. That's exactly right. I'm sorry, you know, I got three kids. Anyway, <laughs> that I'm getting them outside in the snow and they're having fun, it's just gonna happen. It's now the hard. backyard does not have fence across, but she said HOA approved. You mm -hmm. could if you wanted to put a, a a fence to if you wanted to quarant off your backyard, but there is not e exit to the backyard from the house. You go around. And they yeah, you got to go around, which is not a problem. not so yep. bad especially if the HOA is taking care of it but you've got that front fenced yard you got the front fenced yard for that little alcove there we got this gigantic uh, walk-in closet here with the shelving that is so popular ah there's so much storage there and uh, probably doesn't come with the violins sorry gang but you know we can you can buy your own violins it's not a problem so that's our master bedroom got this second bedroom over here still baseboard heating everywhere throughout with your comfort zones. It's so cool. But back here, you don't even need it because you've only got the sun coming in, which is heating up the entire place. Great size closet, even in the second bedroom. So we got our view for the backyard with our sledding competitions. And that's right, everybody, sledding competitions. Nice closet space here. And there's your water heater. Good, I found it. Look, a water heater. Good news. Because yes, hot water. Good closet space. You guys want to see if the closet uh, I can fit in there? No? Okay. <laughs> Fine. I do also notice in your bathroom they have the heat lamp, which also is... The heat lamp. Don't forget ceiling fan in this room. This could be the toastiest house you've ever been in. Toastiest house you've ever been in. We can make toast here. Ceiling fans in the bedrooms, always a wonderful feature because, as we know, you don't even need air conditioning in Idaho. Is that what they tell me? I don't know. 
Do you? No, because this doesn't come with it. So what we've got, you got the ceiling fans in there. You've got all the sun coming in through the windows to heat you up. And it's cool in the summer. How so. do we get a hold of you if they want to come see this house, Don? Oh, I am available every which way. You can find me on the Facebook with this beautiful face. You can find me at um, our website, View Idaho Hope. <laughs> View Idaho Falls Houses. Don I dot. believe it's Don. Dot. Don dot View Idaho Falls Houses. And you find me in the outtake section doing funny stuff. So you can also call me if you want my phone number. It's 443-401-0021. And look, I love this place. Single floor living, perfect for any age group, zero to 99. We'll get you on in. And I think, I think you'll be happy here. If these videos are making sense to you, and you can see how you could benefit as a seller or an owner of a property, either now or in the future, give us a call, let's, let's talk. Talk to us about our virtual marketing, where we keep more people out of your home, but they still get to see it 24 seven. We're all about your safety and your security. Call us today, we'll talk about it.